Hi, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how you can build an interactive calculator. In this video, we're going to build a rectangular volume calculator. Let's begin. Before we proceed, you'll need an active Calconic account to start building your first calculator. So if you don't have one, you can create one for free by clicking on www.calconic.com to register. Now that you have an active Calconic account, we can proceed. First, you need to log into your Calconic account, then click Create New at the left side menu. Click New from blank and then click on the plus icon at the right side to add new elements. On this page, you'll see a list of different input field types and tools that you can add to your interactive calculator. But we'll be choosing Numeric Input Field. Go ahead and select that. If you look at the right side of your screen, you'll see all the calculator element settings. Simply click on the element you want to configure if you want to access them. You can change the label of a numeric input field by adding your preferred name to the field below Element Label. Let's go ahead and type in Width as the input field's name. Below that, you'll see the fields for minimum and maximum values. You can either set the lowest and highest values a user can enter, or you can leave the fields blank to have no value limit. We'll have to type in 0 as the minimum value since the rectangular width can't be negative, but the maximum value can be left blank. You might want to let your visitors know what kind of data you want them to enter, so you can add a prefix or postfix to your field. But let's add feet to the postfix field and ignore the prefix. Now that we're done with the first input field, let's add a second input field for rectangular length. Click the plus icon on the right and select numeric input field again. This time, we're adding length as the input field's name. We'll set the minimum value as 0 and leave the maximum field blank. The same thing goes for the prefix and postfix, so let's ignore the prefix and type in feet in the postfix field. We're done with the second input field. To add a third input field for rectangular height, click the plus icon and this time we're choosing slider. It's not a typical input field for a volume calculator, but you need to see how different types of input fields can shape your interactive calculator. Let's name the input field height at the element label. We'll set our slider's range by adding minimum and maximum values. These fields can't be blank for the slider. So let's enter 0 as minimum and 1000 as the maximum value. You can add points to your slider to make it look better and easier to use. So add these points, 0, 250, 500, 750, 1000. Make sure your points are separated by a comma. We're almost done with the slider. Let's add a postfix. Enter feet in the postfix field. OK, so we're done with all the inputs. Now let's work on the outputs. Click the plus icon on the right and select formula. Name your formula field by adding these texts rectangular tank volume to the element label input field. Every single element of a calculator gets its own ID that has a hashtag and a unique number. So we're going to add this formula to the formula editor input field. Number 1 star, number 2 star, number 3. Where number 1 is for the width, number 2 is for the height, and number 3 is for the slider. We got that formula from the conventional formula for finding the volume of a rectangular prism, which is volume equals length height width. We'll finish up with customizing the formula element by adding a postfix. Now click on the gear icon at the right back and add your preferred title to the input field below the calculator title label. Click on save. Now your interactive calculator is ready to be embedded to your website. Simply click the Embed button to get the code snippet for embedding the calculator to your website and click Plus New Site to whitelist your website's address. Any subdomain like this format, subdomain.example.com are to be whitelisted separately. Click Next, copy your web calculator's code snippet and you can go ahead to paste it on your page's HTML source code. That's all. 
you've succeeded in building your rectangular volume calculator. That wasn't so hard now, was it? If you missed a step or more, simply watch the video again to get it, or you can contact us for help or for more information via email at support at calconic.com.